What's up everyone? I am Clay and like I mentioned in my last video, I'm kind of bored while I'm sitting at home right now and I have nothing better to do than sit in my game room, stare at my shelves, and wonder what more stuff I could put on them. And of course those thoughts lead to me picking up my phone, opening up eBay, and just buying whatever random stuff I could possibly find on the internet. And that's what this video is for. It's a quarantine mailbag. What have I bought for my game collection during my time in lockdown? Now, this isn't everything that I've bought, but it's just some cool things that I've gotten that I want to show you all. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got. All right, so item number one up on the uh, old list here is this wonderful package that I got in from the eBay. Now, I've already opened it up, yes. Um, I already know what's inside of it, yes. I had to open it to make sure it was in there and make sure everything was correct. So, you all get to see it for the first time here with me. Uh, this is my second time seeing it. Anyway, let's go open this up. Boom, what is it? What is it? I see red and black. I see red and black, is it a virtual boy? Is it? No, it's not. Uh, I mean, kind of it is. Kind of. Kind of a virtual boy. Now I say kind of because it's, you know, it's the shell of a virtual boy. Um, let's see. It's the shell of a Virtual Boy. Because the shell of my Virtual Boy is a little, a uh, little roughed up. Um, especially this part on mine looks pretty bad. Um, I will grab that here in just a second so you can compare and see for yourself. But take my word for it right this second that mine looks rough and it doesn't allow the stand to grab a hold of it when you're trying to set it up so it kind of sucks to not have that but the problem is if we can look real quick let me remove this so all I know that I need like my, my casing might be a little bit rougher shape than this but the part that I know for sure that I need is this this is it. I bought this whole stinking Virtual Boy shell. Bought the whole thing for this. Because no one will part things out and sell just this piece. Nobody. So I tried to buy broken Virtual Boys. Broken Virtual Boys sell for over a hundred dollars. Broken Virtual Boys sell for over a hundred dollars. I I didn't pay over fifty for mine. Mine when I bought mine, mine was broken. Okay, so let me put the shell over here. Well, here's my Virtual Boy, and quite honestly, like this is the part that I'm talking about here. So this is what I'm going to be replacing. And you can see the difference. I mean, the difference is, it's night and day. It's very clear. It, it's obvious why I want to replace it, I think. You know, I'm not crazy for wanting to replace it because this doesn't, the stand doesn't clamp down onto this like it should because there's no, you know, there's just nothing there for it to clamp down onto. Um, so I bought the shell to swap this one piece out. And now looking at it though, I can see that mine is a little bit more roughed up than I initially thought it was. Um, so maybe, you know, maybe I'll swap the shell eventually. But for right now, I mean, all I'm gonna do is swap this out. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the, the swap. So as you can see, the difference is pretty clear um, on, you know, the this one versus this one. Serial numbers might not match up now, but, um, you know, that's life. But this is, I mean, this is going to make it a lot better because every now and then I do actually sit down and kind of kind of play. I do like to sit down and play it every now and then. It's got, you know, Wario, uh, Virtual Boy, Wario Land, whatever. That's a pretty good game. Jack Bros is, is a decent game. Mario's Tennis is a pretty good game. And speaking of Mario's Tennis, you should take a look at my Into the Past video on Mario's Tennis. So on to the next piece of mail, which is also Virtual Boy related that I've kind of been waiting to get my hands on also. Um, but you'll see it. Let's go. Okay, so next up from the mailbag, we have this wonderful package here. And this is one that I've been looking forward to for quite a little while. It goes hand in hand with the old Virtual Boy here. And it is actually the controller, or it is a second controller with the battery adapter. So I no longer have to plug it into power and be tethered to a wall outlet. However, um, doing so will actually take me six AA batteries. And I'm sure these AA batteries probably will not last longer than, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. But we'll see if this whole thing even works. So let's go ahead, see what we got. The reason I have a controller already, I don't really need a second one. So here is our Virtual Boy controller and our battery pack. So that's cool. So the controller itself actually, I mean, it has a few little dings, but like all in all, it is in decent, decent shape for, you know, being pretty old. And then here's our battery pack with our stuff here. Let's see if we can, there we go. So they said it was tested and working. It takes six double A batteries, which is kind of insane, but that's okay. I don't know if you can see uh, right there. It takes, ah, uh, there we go, six. So I wonder, I, I seriously wonder how long that'll last power wise. Uh, I'll probably never actually <laughs> test it out. Um, because anytime I do actually turn the Virtual Boy on, I'm at home and I'm near an outlet. So, and I'm usually by myself because my wife would think that I am ridiculous <laughs> playing this thing if she saw me playing it. So, uh, hopefully these batteries are actually good batteries and I don't get like a false test here because that would kind of suck. But, we'll see. We will see. And on number six. Okay, there we go. We got our six batteries in there. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> All right. Slide that in there. Make sure it's locked in place. Yeah, man. Okay. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Just like that. And now, the moment of truth. Here we go. Let's turn this thing on and see what we got. Anything? Is it dead? It might be dead. Oh wait. No, it's dead. <laughs> um. Okay, so that didn't work. I think I have bad batteries. Honestly, I don't believe that that is for a minute the controller pack's fault. But <laughs> so that was a failed test. I failed live little test here. Um, I'm gonna actually probably go get some better batteries and give it another check just to make sure that this thing actually works. So I will be right, uh, right back. Okay, so I went and I got some new batteries for this thing 
and uh, hopefully these batteries will work a little bit better. Let's see, we'll turn some volume up here so we can get a little bit of volume going on there. And yeah, let's go this way. All right, get in there. Okay, so here we go. We are going to see if I can get the, both the flipping of the power and power in here and go. All right, the console is moving. So, up, uh, yep, there it is. All right. There's the volume. Don't know if you, oh. Wow. Other than just hitting the camera. Um, so, <laughs> I can tell that those batteries are very old um, because just getting through that boot screen I died <laughs> it drained the batteries you know it's it's worth it to kind of pick up another controller as well with that especially with the price of everything virtual boy just going up recently um, it's kind of a bummer to see that happening because it's kind of it's a it's a very neat little niche thing to have and for it to be skyrocketing out of so many other collectors price range and price points and budgets and everything like that. It's a bummer that more people can't get a hold of one, but finally got what I wanted here and I'm uh, pretty excited. I'll never use it, um, but that's okay. No big deal. On to the next piece of mail from, uh, from Quarantine Mailbag. Let's check it out. This next piece I am incredibly excited about because it's something that I've wanted in my collection for a very, very long time. And I finally got one pretty cheap from Japan, ordered this, and two days later, somehow, it made it to my door. Very excited about this. This is something that I did not have in my N64 collection, and now I am the proud owner of one, and this actually will lead into another video later on at some point. Well, let's go ahead, tear this thing open possibly, and see ugh, what is in it. <clears throat> All right, got it open. I also had a box cutter, which I might also need, so there we go. All right, there's that. Make sure there's no personal information that we can see. All right, perfect, that's great. Now, what do we got in here? Let's see, where's the top, probably? This is probably the top. All right, here we go. Oh, boy. This is a Nintendo 64 um, controller, actually that I didn't have ever and honestly never thought I would have in my collection just simply because um, Price didn't ever want to pay what people wanted for the controller itself So let's take a look at what we've got here It is the It is a oh, sorry Hori Mini Pad Pro 64? It's the Hori thing <laughs> for the N64. It is the official Hori from back in the day. Now this thing is pretty, pretty clean. Um, especially for being so old. <laughs> the Hori, wait, let's see, there it is. We can see what it says there. The Hori Pad Mini. The Hori Pad Mini. It feels, it actually feels really good. Like, this is great, actually. I see why people liked it. So that's your Z button, right there. You Z and your R, so it's got a little thing. I can take care of that, honestly. That's just a little touch up. Another Z button and an L button over here. The stick is really, in good condition um, it feels more GameCube-esque than N64-esque which is nice because the GameCube stick is good the d-pad is really nice these buttons are good this is great this is fantastic and the color is really really nice too so this is something that I have always wanted in my collection is the official Hori one from back in the day. I never had one. Now I do. I'm the proud owner of this tropical red one, the clear red and 
the clear, <laughs> clear red and white, uh, I guess, transparent, whatever. But uh, this, like I said, it's going to lead into another video I'm doing later on. And that's going to be taking this and comparing it side by side, play wise and feel next to Retro Bits um, Tribute 64, which is basically this reimagined in the modern day. So this was this is my one baby, my one baby that I wanted. So now, now we can go on and look at the uh, the toy uh, set pieces that uh, that have come in. So let's go ahead, clear all this stuff off, and get to the toys. All all you're seeing right now, obviously, is the Super Mario logo. So this thing is pretty big. It is, uh, <laughs> it's, um, Bowser's Castle. <laughs> Big Super Mario Bowser's Castle. Uh, it says it is an, it, ha it has interactive environment pieces. There is an exclusive Bowser included. So this is cool. He's doing a fist. I guess that's neat. There's trap doors. <laughs> There's moving fireball things. It plays music. I really super duper hope that it plays the dungeon theme because that would be super cool. Uh, it's got two levels of play, it says. I guess because you can play where he's standing there and then on the back, on the on the bottom there. Um, but this thing, it just looks cool. And there's like a wedding chapel, I guess, for when he marries Peach. So that's kind of neat. This thing is just so cool looking. Deluxe Bowser's Castle playset. Um, it's from Jax, so it's from the same people who did the World of Nintendo stuff. And I've got some of the other newer Super Mario um, stuff that they've that they've got out. And I'm I have got to say that it is the same quality as the World of Nintendo, just not branded World of Nintendo. Um, this is great. <laughs> Are you all ready? Like, because I'm super ready to see this. Oh. Oh, and we got blocked. We got blocked, and that's it. There's nothing else in this box. It's empty, so. Toss that over there. Okay. Okay. Here. Here we go. Are, are we ready? This is the very first time I am also seeing this. So I'm pretty excited about it. Ready? Here we go. Oh no! I've got to put the stickers and stuff on. I've got to put this together. Why? It's a huge box. You couldn't just put it all together for me? Oh crap. I don't want to put it together. I don't want to put it together though. Here we go. <laughs> I'm good at this. Okay, cool.
so final thoughts. Um, that took a lot longer than it probably should have. Um, honestly, um, it took me about 50 or so minutes total. And most of that was um, figuring out the pieces here on the front, first of all. These two was a little confusing. And then mainly it was the stickers. Um, and like, I like stuff like that, putting stickers on and doing that sort of thing. But I'll be honest, if I'm paying $40 for something this big and this um, detailed and this, you know, this nice looking, I would kind of want it to come somewhat assembled already. Like maybe the sticker's already on it. Maybe it already just put together like this in the box, something. Um, but for $40, I would like a little bit of that. Um, but it honestly doesn't bother me that bad because I like doing stuff like this. I like little projects. Um, it's like this kind of thing. So uh, it was okay. It was fine. But just keep in mind that if you do end up going out and grabbing one of these, that it does have a little bit of setup involved with it. It's not terrible, but it is a little bit tedious, especially up on these with the spikes and even like around the windows, the black and the actual window part are separate. And uh, that black can tear pretty easy. I, I tore one of them up here on the top. I don't know if you can actually see it, um, but it is torn up there. So this is the Bowser, uh, the deluxe Bowser castle playset thing <laughs> from Jax for Super Mario. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is one thing that we got. So now uh, now I'm gonna kick it on over to the other thing that we got that kind of. Uh, kind of pairs with this. So we're gonna go check that out and we'll be right back. Okay, so this next one, like I said, seriously goes hand in hand with the Bowser castle. Like you can't have the Bowser castle without this. And um, I know what this is, obviously, but we're opening it for uh, the first time here because what this video is for uh, you know it's all just have a good old time opening mail so there it is already see what that is and where we are we're gonna take a look at it <laughs> so this is and look it also comes with a exclusive Bowser figurine this is the mushroom kingdom castle playset with the castle, uh, Bowser up top. And just like in the Bowser castle, I bet I'm going to have to put the stickers on. Yep. Oh, hey, this one actually is World of Nintendo. So this is probably an older one. Um, the other one does not have World of Nintendo branding on it. Um, this one, absolutely. Um, after the Bowser one, I know 100% I am going to have to put this thing together, and uh, that's just how it's going to have to be. But, there we go. Get out of here. Uh, we got some Velcro, or some 3M stuff. Don't know why, um, but that's cool. I guess if I read the instructions, it would probably tell me. But, we're going to read the instructions in just a little bit, because we're going to have to put it together. So, it's all zip-tied in here. Here's our Bowser figure. Um, so, like I was saying, um, just to reiterate the fact that even though this new Mario stuff is not branded as World of Nintendo anymore, it's just Super Mario, um, it's clearly World of Nintendo because this is the same exact Bowser from that Bowser castle that is not branded in any way World of Nintendo uh, this is branded World of Nintendo, and it's the same exact one. That is now upstairs, so I can't really show the Bowser similarities, but just know they are the exact same. You can rewind this video a little bit and see the similarities, um, because they're kind of filmed on different days, maybe, over a course of days as mail comes in. But, hey, whatever. We are here, and this is what's happening. So...
right, so real quick, this castle comes with this thing, this, this, and it's supposed to sit in front of it. The castle is supposed to sit in front of this. Like you're supposed to hang this on the wall. It goes on the wall and then the castle goes on top of it. And this goes on it this way. In such a way that it looks like it's on the ground. I mean, it really can't, right? Cuz cuz if it's on the wall, it's going to be here. So it will have to go here. It will sit below the ground. <laughs> um I'm not going to put it in front of this where it's going to be setting. It's going to just be setting on a, just, you know, a shelf somewhere. So it doesn't really matter that what it looks like, I don't guess. Um, we're going to get some stickers on here, though, and uh, go on and continue on with uh, with this. So move that over there. I have no interest to use that whatsoever. that's it um that is honestly <laughs> um kind of disappointing like I'm, I'm happy to have peach's castle like i think that's kind of cool but um a little bit disappointing i mean this thing wasn't overly expensive it wasn't nearly as expensive as something like um you know the bowser castle it wasn't $50, but it also, I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't cheap. Um, this actually, to be World of Nintendo, this actually does feel, it's, it feels pretty cheap. Um, the overall quality of this compared to the Bowser's Castle, uh, this feels honestly like bad. Um, it feels like really bad quality plastic compared to what you got with the other Bowser Castle, the non-World of Nintendo stuff. And like, you know, it looks nice. It does look nice. But you pick this thing up, the fact that like the inside of the Bowser Castle kind of had a lot more going on and different stuff like that, it made that a lot more quality purchase for, you know, 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks than than this um i mean you get a cool bowser out of it but also you got a cool bowser out of the bowser castle so honestly i, I don't other than having a princess peach mushroom kingdom castle i don't know why you'd buy this um over something like the the bowser castle i'm happy to have it because it's going to look nice setting next to the bowser's castle but all in all it's kind of cheap for what it is but you know anyway that's kind of that's kind of what i've got so far during this quarantine um that's been of any you know real kind of interest to anybody if i mean nobody's probably interested anyway but this is the kind of stuff that i'm looking at my game loft and being like yeah i need to put a princess peach castle on a shelf because that's gonna do me a world of good now that certainly isn't everything that I've bought this whole time, but if I did that type of a video, you'd be here for about two weeks straight, and I don't think anyone wants that. So if you have been on a buying binge like I have, or even just picked up something cool for your collection during this time, go ahead and let me know down there in that comment section below that like button. And until next time, take care everyone.